I love living in Camas, but you need to know a few things that people aren't telling you. Hey, welcome back to the Living in Vancouver and Camas Washington YouTube channel. I'm your host, Hannah Dubine, and I'm thankful you're here today because we're talking about my favorite city, Camas Washington. If you don't already know, I'm a resident of Camas, and my office that I'm sitting in right now filming this video is located here in Camas, and overall, we really love the city. But there's definitely some things you should know about Camas that maybe other people aren't telling you, whether you live here already or you're thinking about moving here, uh, because no place is perfect. So I'm here to bring you that transparency. By the way, don't forget to sign up for our Weekend Happenings with Hannah email list down below. We send out the best three, four, five local events happening every single weekend. We handwrite it just for y'all and we send out some other fun things. All right, let's talk about Camus. So I don't mean to set like a negative, somber tone over the video. Um, certainly not here to tell you that Camus is a terrible place to live because otherwise I wouldn't live here. I'm a realtor and I wanna live in the best spots. So hopefully that gives you a good feeling. First thing is that Camus is a not so secret secret anymore. I would say up until about 2020 when COVID hit and there was a mass migration of people moving across the country, for, I don't know, five, six, seven years before that, Camus was a really amazing place to live and not a lot of people knew about it. Not a lot of people were moving here. It was kind of that small town, perfect little bubble that anyone would wanna live in. And uh, now people have found out. Recently, there was an article put out by money.com about the top 50 best places to live and Camus made it on the list, which is awesome. Um, but if you live in Camus, maybe you're like, oh, I don't want other people to move here. Common sentiment, right? Rolling up the road, once you move somewhere, you don't want other people to move there. You feel like it's yours to keep, yours to hold. Um, there's a ton of articles out there like this where Camus is rated top whatever, top schools, top city, top community. And the reality is more and more people are finding out about it as time goes on. So not a secret anymore, sorry. Another thing you should know about Camus is it is amazing now, but it is going to change a lot in the future. I hope it changes for the better. I have faith it's gonna change for the better. It's gonna change and improve, just like every growing area has to change. Um, but if you haven't watched our North Shore development video yet, please go check that out. That is the biggest change coming to Camus. Also Columbia Palisades, we have a video up about that as well, so please go watch that. Um, for the longest time, the North Shore has been a treed rural area, really and those trees are mostly coming down. Not all, there's gonna be parks, there's gonna be trails. Don't worry about that too much, it's gonna stay natural. But we need more houses, we need more retail, we need more commercial. We need to make room for the people that are wanting to move here because they're gonna move here either way. And we need to make more housing supply as well because we have a deficit right now. Um, that's true all across the country, but we need to try and fix that. So I can appreciate that the city of Camas is prioritizing it. Um, Columbia Palisades has also been a quarry for a long time. It was a quarry before it started being developed and now that's growing too. So there you go. Another thing to know about Camus, thing number three is that the makeup of people living in Camus is changing. I think the most significant thing that both outsiders and people who are born and raised here has noticed is that there's a lot of people moving from California. If you're moving from California, hey, I'm here, I'm your friend, Hannah. I don't hate you, by the way, you're doing probably what's best for your family, but there is a little bit of tension around it because people are fleeing California a lot of times because of the politics, because of the crazy rules, and there's some sort of protectionary feeling up here like, hey, they're coming from this area with a whole bunch of problems. We don't want you bringing your problems here. We don't want you voting for those same things that you voted for down in California that brought so many problems. So if you're coming from California, just be cognizant of that. You're not gonna get totally hated on. You're not gonna get your house egged, anything like that. If you do have a California um, driver's plate on your car, you might get honked at, so maybe change that out. But we are starting to see more and more folks come from down south up here north. Thing number four I want you to know about Camus is that the schools can be ruthless. What I hear time and time again from our buyer clients who are relocating is that they wanna to come to Camus for the schools, which is totally legit. If we're ranking schools in the area based off of what I hear, what I see online, Camus is always in the top three discussion um, and it's people's choice for sure. But because there's so many parents who have high achieving kids here, 
it creates a little bit of a pressure pocket, I guess you could call it, where everyone is high performing. So if you're not getting straight A's, you're not getting A's and B's, then what are you, a stupid kid? I mean, that's just not true. Every kid has different talents. So if you have kids who maybe aren't high academically achieving or they're not really good at sports, by the way, if your kid's not super athletic, they're not gonna make the team in Canvas. Um, super high competition here, so just know that. The fifth thing you should know about Canvas is that the proximity to everything here is really as good as it sounds. It really, really is amazing. When I go out to the store, when I go to PDX, when I go to East Vancouver, wherever, it's so quick to get anywhere over to Washougal. Um, I live in the suburbs, yet I can access the city very quickly. It's really amazing and there's not a lot of spots where you can have that. Thing number six that you should know about Camus is that it's very expensive to live here and it is somewhat exclusive feeling. This is the most expensive city in Clark County. As of the time of me making this video, the median home sale price in Camus is just under $800,000. And honestly, I only expect it to go up from there. To give you some perspective, the median sale price in Vancouver is in like the high 400s, low 500s. So there's a big disparity right there with two cities that touch borders. Um, with the median household income in the state of Washington compared to the median home price in Camas, you cannot afford to buy a home in Camas. So you have to be making really a significant amount of money. Therefore, you get that feeling a little bit of exclusivity. So there's a lot of more established people here, people who already have wealth, who have a higher down payment from another house, maybe folks who work in tech, STEM. A lot of my clients are STEM dual income and they're able to afford it. The next thing I want you to know about Camus is there's a little bit of a perception that you're kind of a rich snob for living in Camus. Now, personally, I really don't think that I live here I love talking to people. I knock on people's doors regularly for my work as a realtor. And people are always really very nice to me in Camas. They're very, very nice. Uh, one of the nicest areas in all of Clark County, for sure. But there is a little bit of perception that if you live in Camas and you can afford these high home prices and exclusive schools, that you are super wealthy and maybe you're a little bit stuck up. Of course, there are those people. I do run into them, but I don't think they overtake Camas but I do want you to know about it. If you want something that's really down to earth, you know, super grassroots, maybe living out in the country is a little bit more for you. Fern Prairie and Camas could be good, or you could live up in Brush Prairie, Battleground, somewhere like that. DM me if you wanna talk about it. I will also say, this is a little bit of an aside to my last point. Everyone in Camas drives a Tesla now. I did not drive a Tesla. I don't plan on having an electric car anytime soon. I like my gas car. I was driving one day, turning right on out to a main road. And I saw, I'm not even kidding you, four Teslas go by in a row. One, two, three, four. I was like, what? This is crazy. And it's only something I've really seen in the last, I'd say two to three years. Um, a lot of my California clients have Teslas. That's great, awesome. But it is, it's interesting to see because I feel like it's just so copy and paste. Why does everyone have a Tesla? I like having a little bit of, you know, a little bit of a mix out there. <laughs> The next thing I want you to know about Camus that's super important is that we have a divided political scene, but a united community. Camus is known for its strong community and people tend to get along even though we're pretty evenly split for politics. If you're coming here and you're thinking, oh, it's gonna be super conservative, oh, it's gonna be super liberal, I want everyone to think like me, think again. People have differences of opinions here. Frankly, I like it that way. It keeps things interesting. It, make sure that people don't get too out of control, not one side gets too much power. Um, it's good, right? We, ha we have a mix, a diversity of thought in our community. So just know that, you know, there are a lot of people coming from California. We know the kind of politics that are down there. It's kind of more left-leaning, but we also have a lot of business professionals here, tend to be more right-leaning. People that work at Fisher Investments, people that own businesses, uh, C-suite executives, et cetera. So, it is a mixed political scene. The last thing I want you to know about Camus, we'll leave it on a high note, is that downtown Camus and the history of Camus is preserved, it's alive and it's well. And I really appreciate this about the town. There's been a very um, focused effort to do this. It hasn't happened overnight and it hasn't happened by accident. 
The Downtown Camas Association, you may have seen them in Downtown Camas before. This is what they do. They want to make downtown thrive. They want to preserve our history. Um, and I think that is a really amazing thing. So most towns in Clark County don't have it as strong as we do. And it really adds to the community feeling. If you live in Camas already, let me know down below in the comments what else you would add to someone who's thinking about moving to Camas or what else you would add to this video. Thank you so much. I really hope this was helpful. And if you are thinking about selling or buying a home in Clark County, we would love to be of service to you. So please send us an email, a text, a DM on Instagram. We would love to serve you. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon.